ready for our fucking legend? Your first comedian? <laughs> Wait, before you bring him up, on deck. Oh, on deck is Philip Garcia. I believe that says Philly. Philly Garcia. Philly, Philly Cheesesteak Garcia. Come, let's get a slice of that. But coming up right now, or would you take you it away? You don't slice those, but I like where you're... <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Derek Dimples, everybody. The Dimplemator! Hey, how you guys doing? What's up, you two? Uh, you mentioned that the corn industry is popping, Bianca. And uh, something else that is popping in grains is popping the tops off of them and grabbing those seeds. Like, you just want all the seeds. It's like you're jerking off grass. That's what I... DNA, okay. <laughs> Tastes good, too. Um, all right. Hmm. If only I could... Oh, yeah. Huh. I, I sometimes get the feeling that some of my vegetarian and vegan friends, not all of them, but some of them want to take a shortcut to being a good person rather than putting in the actual legwork to improve themselves. I, well, I, no, it's like, hmm, that needs a new entryway. This is a, that needs a new introduction. But it's a funny thought, I think. It's okay. You got, okay, no, but, 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 but like they're, they're, they're trying to outsource their goodness to the organic farmers that, that make the shit they eat. They're, these terrible vegan people. Well, I'm, there was one. There was one person I knew who, who who was like really worried about like cruelty done on farms. And I said, Yeah. Well, what if what if what if those animals were farm raised in a non cruel environment and slaughtered humanely? And the, but but she just couldn't answer that. I guess I short circuited some. Oh shit! I wasn't supposed to reveal her gender because that sounds sexist. Oh well, let's fucking scrap it and move on. Um, God damn it, handwriting. You're so fucking terrible at this, Derek. You should have listened in kindergarten. Oh, right. Um, yeah. So a lot of people say that you should never meet your heroes, and I think you should always take an opportunity to meet one of your heroes to find out what kind of a fucking idiot you really are to believe that they are how you think they are. It's happened to me multiple times. And as a matter of fact... Yeah, okay. I was, uh, 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 like, I once met Michi Okaku. He thought I was crazy, and I see it now. <laughs> and then also, I, I, I once was super into, like, charismatic, supernatural Christianity, and I met one of the bigwigs in that, and I think it helped cure me of that. It really <laughs> did something good for the world <laughs> to meet my heroes. Okay, the last, um, shit. Oh, yeah. There are lots of men, it seems, well, there are lots of men, but there are lots of men who seem to be worried about catching gayness from different things, like touching their asshole or accidentally swallowing some of their cum. Well, first, when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to swallowing cum, I think any dude who expects a lady to swallow a load should at least swallow one of his own, you know, lick it off your hand. And like, it, it doesn't taste that bad. I've, sometimes I'm just not in the mood to clean up. It's, you know, what? No, that wasn't right. That wasn't the right sound. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, but you can't catch gayness. That's something that you feel already. And, uh, uh, well, okay, guys. You guys have a good night. I'm Derek. Derek Temple, everybody. The one guy in this room that voluntarily drinks his own cup. On deck, we've got the brown recluse. Okay. And coming up right now, please give it up to.